Hey guys, this is Shane here, Echo Soundworks, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool tip and trick you can use in Logic 10 to basically never get stuck again when you're trying to create a new melody. So this is a really powerful tool and technique that you can use to get over beat block. It's a great method to expand your music theory knowledge, and it's just a very effective tool. This has happened to me a bunch. I'll be creating a melody or trying to create a melody, usually over like a bass line or a chord progression that's already established a vibe for a beat or a track. And the melody I'm, I'm playing or the melodies that I'm playing, they're, they, they're, they work, but they're not great. You know, they don't fit the vibe perfectly. And sometimes it can take a real long time to find that perfect melody. Other times it flows right out. So this technique is for when it's a bit of a struggle. Maybe when you're feeling like the melody you're currently playing or coming up with is a melody, that's similar to something you did in the last track or last beat that you worked on. So let's dive into Logic 10 and get started. All right, so let's take a quick listen to the beat without a melody. We just got a chopped up chord, some drums, and of course an 808. All right, so the first thing you want to do is load up a preset, a patch, a sample in a synth, you know, whatever VST you want to use. So I use Serum for this. I'm using one of the patches from our sound set sphere. It's kind of like a Japanese hybrid key sound. It sounds like this. It's a pretty cool sound. So then what you want to do is you want to go and above where your Serum, if you're using Serum or if you're using Mass or whatever, wherever your VST, your virtual instrument is going to be, right? It shows up right here. Above that, there'll be an empty slot. This is where you can load in MIDI controlled effects. Click it and load up the transposer. So if you guys have ever seen like a video of a machina user, a machine user, or an Ableton push user and they're setting scales, this is similar to that. It's not as perfect because it doesn't remove the notes. It doesn't move around basically where you know you start and end. And by that, I mean, if we look at this, I've loaded up a C klezmer scale. There's all these different scales. You can create a user scale. Um, so obviously like major and minor, those are pretty basic. Most of you probably know your major and minor scales, but a Japanese scale, minor blues, uh, Dorian, Phrygian, right? So there's some really interesting ones in here and you can actually download more for this online. There's, there's a few resources to do that. And of course you can create your own user scale. So what that being said, if I turn this on and I play, well, just see so here, we'll play a C, we'll play a C major scale. All right, let's turn it on. Right, it plays the scale just fine, but check us out. So we have a C note, which is still a C. C sharp with a G sharp. Now if I hit a D, the D is still that actual C sharp, right? So that's the only only thing that gets a little confusing. So I'll bring up my keyboard so you guys can see that what I'm what I mean. So when I hit a C, still a C. C sharp, still a C sharp. D though is just gonna play that C sharp. And then D sharp is actually playing that E. So it's looking at the next closest note, either up or down, right? So that's a little bit annoying, but you can still use this to find really cool melodies. So what I usually typically do is I will look at it and be like, okay, C, C sharp, E, F, G. What happens if I just play that? Right, and I'll kind of get used to the scale. And then I can, you know, turn this off if I want because I just learned the scale. Right, it's off and I'm playing the scale. Or if you guys are uncomfortable with scales or maybe you're just starting the keys, leave it on and just play something in C major. And that's what I did with this melody here, which we're gonna check out. So I'm gonna leave this off and I'm just playing in kind of C major. So I hit C, F, G, A, F, and then C sharp. So there's one note that isn't a C major, right? Um, we could take this to a uh, a D, so now it's still in C major, right? So listen to how bad this is going to sound with our beat. Now let's turn this on. It's kind of cheating for sure, but you can also learn from it. Like I mentioned before, you can actually learn the scale if you want, but this is a great way to find new melodies, find new ideas, and learn new scales in a really, 
I think it's a really efficient, easy way. It's not like, oh, let me look up a new scale from some weird type of music or whatever. It's, it's like, okay, what's this? And you can hear it right away. You can see it. And you can get new, new melodies that you might not typically you know, find yourself using or creating in your beats or your tracks. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post those, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video and want to see more like it, I would really appreciate you taking the time to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.